So in my last video, I was unboxing this beautiful guitar we see here. It's the Juan Montes Rodriguez uh, Flamenco model. I've had a couple of days just to play around on this now, and honestly, just generally, I'm, I'm loving it. It's really playable. You know, the neck feels so comfy. The action is really low. Of course, it looks beautiful. I'm slowly getting used to these um, traditional friction pegs you see here. Um, I could understand some people say they really don't like them. Um, they can be a bit fiddly and a bit awkward to find the right tuning. But the reason I really like them is because they're quick and then once you find the right tuning, they're really stable. So honestly, I love them. I am, however, going to change them. So everyone's been talking about Whitner pegs um, and I just want to try them out. People say uh, they're much better to use. You keep all of the tonal qualities. However, they're not as fiddly. So I am going to change these over to the Whitner pegs. In terms of the sound of the guitar, it's far more versatile than I anticipated. This was always going to be my kind of flamenco guitar, um, but actually because of the pronounced basses, which you're about to hear, it's really quite versatile and good for a range of styles, notably bossa nova. So I wasn't expecting that, um, and it's a great thing to find out. So in terms of the sound test, um, obviously I'll play some flamenco for you, I'll play some different flamenco styles, boleria, solia, fandango, I'll play some classical music, uh, some bossa nova, and then some different strumming styles to give you an overview of all of the different uh, sonic qualities of this guitar. In terms of the gear I'm using, I'm just using my Blue Yeti Nano microphone. I'll add just a touch of compression, just simply because sometimes I find this microphone doesn't pick up the uh, quieter sounds of the instrument. And then in terms of the strings, I'm just using the Diodario Black Nylon Flamenco guitar strings. <laughs> So just my perspectives on the sound, I think uh, I would describe this as a mix between a Blanca and a Negra. I think it does flamenco really well. Um, I don't think it does classical music as well, and I don't necessarily see that as a negative. You don't buy a flamenco model guitar with the intention to play classical music, 
So for me, that's okay. This is always intended to be my flamenco guitar. The thing I love about the sound of this is that it has lots of overtones. And honestly, when I was just starting to play this guitar, I would hear loads of other overtones from the guitar. And this is completely new to me. Like I haven't heard that from a guitar before and I absolutely love it. And also it's really percussive. So when we're doing different percussive styles and even when you're just playing different flamenco uh, falsetas, you can really hear the uh, percussive sounds of the instrument coming through. And again, I haven't really ever played an instrument quite like that. So I really love that element of the instrument. So there you go. I hope that was useful. I hope it was interesting to see some different sounds produced on this guitar. If you are interested in buying a Juan Montes guitar, I highly recommend FL Waves, whom I bought this guitar from. They give you amazing service, so please go check them out. I'll put the links in the description below. So I hope this was useful. Catch you in a bit.